that they would not ever even um, economists were sent to Bangladesh and to India and to the parts of Asia to go see what they had done. And it was borrowed on the Grameen Bank. And when I was told about this concept that had already been written, immediately I knew that that was the solution for the women of Eldoret North. And so quickly I called for a meeting of all the women leaders and I had a meeting under a tree and I started talking to them about table banking. And that day, on the 31st of August of 2009, Joyful Women Organization was born. And we named this organization Joyful Women because of that one woman that did not have shoes, looked like had not had breakfast, yet had a broad smile. Just to say that sometimes in life, you may not have everything, but nobody can take the joy away from you. And we say that we want to spread this joy. the nation of Kenya. I used to leave Nairobi on Thursday and I would have two meetings uh, that Thursday, two meetings on Friday, two meetings on Saturday and I came back to Nairobi also to take care of my family because then I had a young family. And so we began with Eldoret North and when my husband became deputy president in 2013, we had the opportunity to spread joy for women across the nation and we crisscrossed Kenya and I really thank God for the opportunity. opportunity of uh, giving me this platform. It we have about 150,000 women who are members of Joyful Women Organization. We have about 11,000 groups and we continue to, to spread the joy. And not to be ignorant of the fact that we've had our own challenges, especially during COVID-19. We really had challenges with the women meeting because when they said that uh, people could not meet, then our women could not meet. But we thank God that we've been able to overcome that. And today, God has given us a platform to change the lives of women. Because when they borrow this money uh, on the table, they are able to do enterprises. You know, we know that many other times women do not have collateral to go to the commercial banks uh, to borrow money because uh, uh, the collaterals that the women would really have maybe would be title deeds and things like that. But in the African culture, we know that really women do not own land. But we thank God because things are changing in the 21st century. And even as we empower these women, we know that they have stories to tell us, testimonies, women that could not even go to meetings. We have brought dignity back to the women. One woman told me that any time they went for meetings in the villages, they used to be told to sit on the grass. But because of the joyful women and empowering them economically, when they walk into the meetings, they are called to sit on the high table. And so today we are...